All right, ladies and gentlemen, how is it going? It is I, Lunar Chris, and welcome back to some more. Let's play Mega Man X3. We're starting off with Gravity Beetle here as part of the non-backtracking order for Mega Man X3 because we want to be able to get everything in our first run as best as possible. Now, of course, there is one level that we have to go back to, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Well, probably a few levels in. We'll have to vi revisit Tunnel Rhino stage after a bolt catfish. Tank right here. So there hasn't really been that much of so there's been a bit of a reason as to why I haven't been like recording very much. And that's ultimately because I've had this, like, really weird tendency to just wake up, like, at around 1 o'clock. Gotcha. Alright, hard tank. And like I said, for the non-backtracking order, Gravity Beetle and and Toxic Seahorse are completely interchangeable. Which is good, because this way, because neither stage requires any backtracking whatsoever. Jeez, there's so many enemies all over the damn place. Talk about a real welcome party. Fuck, I can't get up there without the elevator. Okay. And here we go, another rider section that will be rendered pointless. Ah, I'm surprised I actually managed to get that. <laughs> go for the pink capsules because those actually have chips that you can't actually replace. So, until you get to the end of the game, or actually, I'm sorry, I can't, I really can't speak to these days. But, uh, yeah, just hold off on the capsules until you actually get to the first stage of Doppler's Fortress where there is this one part in the stage where you can get the golden armor. Alright, what's your weakness, buddy boy? Is it race flasher? Should be. I mean look at this. 
this. I'm literally decimating him without a hitch. That took no effort. Wow. That was pathetic. And now we are off to Toxicity Hall. Toxic Sea Whore. Oh man, these guys. Why are you falling? Please leave me alone. I don't want to fight you right now. So let me go on my day. Please. I thank you. Ah! I missed it. Cool. Got more health from my E tanks. I keep referring to sub tanks as E tanks when they're called some tanks, not E tanks. They're not permanent consumables. Alright, let's see here. Um, I have a feeling that fight might be here. <coughs> yep, I knew it. <clears throat> nice to meet you, X. I am Bite. I've been programmed to exterminate you. Ouch. Well, at least this boss isn't bad. No! How could his great power... How can this great power be generated? Can be... <laughs> Bit of a translation error here, guys. I'm sorry I'm pointing this out, but... How can this be great? How can this great power can be generated from within such an ancient machine? Well done, Nix. The victory is yours. <laughs> it's like he's saluting me. Well, that takes care of both of those goons. Time to get out the frog armor. So that way we can get the kangaroo armor. Controlling this thing with Jake is a total pain in the ass. More so than it really needs to be. Fuck. Yes! Alright. We got the kangaroo armor now. Beautiful. I really think that propeller animation is so cute. Look at that. <laughs> it's like it's going pew 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 pew! <laughs> well, really no point in doing that now, seeing that, well, 
I've done what I needed to. Yeah, just look at that intense matchup. That was surely the best thing in the world. So excited. I really have no idea what to say at this point. I'm really sorry if I'm super silent for like most of this playthrough. This is, I really have nothing to, nothing interesting to say. And it's here where we arrive at Toxic Seahorn, as a lot of people call him. <laughs> Toxic Seahorn, I love that name. It almost kind of sounds like Horsey, like the name of the Pokemon. I'm not dying here today. Two Mavericks to go. Volt Catfish and Crop and uh, Crush Crawfish. You know what's up. We're gonna be taking on Volt Catfish. He kind of looks like Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z, if he were a catfish. Alright, down this way. Is where we'll fight Vile. Oh yeah, you also fight Vile in this game too. And just like the, um, and just like the Nightmare Police, they actually do bear some significance. He actually does bear some significance to the gameplay. Well, I'll explain as we go on. All right, I gotta beat both Catfish in order for this to work. Oh. Gotta say, this this music is kicking. <laughs> There he is, the man himself. <laughs> You're trapped, X. Vile, Zero and I destroyed you years ago. This factory is set to blow in a matter of minutes. Until then, I'll try to keep you busy. Ouch. Yeah, some of the, quite literally, some of the bosses in this game are a joke. 
Like some of them, you can just cause them to go in some kind of pattern that they'll just never stop repeating. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of obnoxious, but it's amusing to say the least. Yeah, talk about the ultimate life form. You're as pathetic as a piece of cardboard. Ouch. Okay, I am in need for a sub tank. Well, that didn't do shit. What? Okay, I'm not gonna die here today. No. I'm gonna save up my Ray Splasher until he's about, I don't know, down a few more health. Alright. I wanna kill him with his weakness weapon. Don't think that this is the end, X. I will haunt you to the day you die. <laughs> and I only have one shot of Ray Splasher left. <laughs> and here we go. I seriously hope I don't actually have to fight him again. At least if I die. More health. Yes. Why? Why are you here? Oh my god, no! Stop it! You're slowing me down! We got that out of our hands. Because now, by killing Vile, you don't actually have to find him in the fortress stages. As well as the Nightmare Police. Because unlike X2, X3 actually does feature some changes, depending on your actions. Which is really cool. Okay, why the fuck is this enemy here? up here. You need to be able to see something. Oh, would you look at that? A spike thing. I wonder what's around. Ooh. Well, there I go. I died. At least it was worth it, though. <laughs> Alright. How many lives do I have, by the way? Oh, not bad. At least I'm not dying so frequently, which is good. Alright, anywhere up here? Oh, okay. Yeah, touch the bottom of the spikes. Even when I wasn't really there. 
Don't jump this time! That was really dumb of me to have done that. Okay, here we go! And this right here is... The body armor. Not that it will really mean very much, but... You know, at least we do get some reduced damage. Pretty funny that of all the armor parts, the bo the head parts are the last thing I get in this game. Though I really feel like this shield is a bit useless. Break out the kangaroo armor, fellas. I mean, I'm not so sure if you really need the kangaroo armor specifically. I imagine that you really don't. I'm not so sure. If anybody knows if I really do need the kangaroo armor, to break the floor here. Can you let me know? be nice if you, if I had a body armor that not only gave me, that only reduced my damage by half, but would also give me more items a lot more frequently, but that's not here nor there. I really wish somebody would have thought about that, but no. How unfortunate indeed. Alright, time to break Fold Catfish into pieces. <laughs> Shut up, Farmington! Nobody cares about you! Go away! Damn it, I keep keep fucking up the trajectory. Yeah, you thought Spark Mandrel was easy? Check this shit out. Yeah. And of course, before I end this episode, I'd like to go back to Tunnel Rhino stage just to get some things that I couldn't before, so I will be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so here's where the head parts are located. Now, here's exactly why this doesn't make any sense. You need the Triad Thunder, which literally gives you the ability to do this. Yeah, don't ask. But yeah, we got the heart tank, so now we're gonna go off and find the capsule. Okay, so here is where one of the capsules are located. Here we go! <clears throat> Take this sensor upgrade for your helmet. <clears throat> And 
And there you have it, guys. We have obtained every possible collectible there is. <clears throat> Nothing of any real worth here. So, we did it, guys. We're super close to 100%ing this game. I can feel it in my blood. Especially with this damn fly buzzing around my face. Alright. So that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, please, 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 give this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more content, and if you would like to follow me on social media, I've got tons of links down in the description below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, what? Oh, fuck. <clears throat> as always, ladies and gentlemen, I bet you do farewell and have yourselves a lovely day. Till next time, this is Lunar Chris signing out.